some, get some analysis on all this. Uh, Tariq Farhadi, who is the former advisor to the Afghan government, he joins us now from Geneva. Uh, good to have you on the show, sir. Um, all right, trying to read the situation, um, and Secretary of State Mike Pompeo's unusually harsh tone, which I think you would agree, it seems the United States is basically telling two bickering brothers, get your act straight or you're not going to get any food. Yes, in this context, you see images of Washington that you, the United States itself is in the midst of an emergency, and the Secretary of State of the United States travels from Washington, D.C., comes to Afghanistan, that's probably 18 hours of flight, to meet leaders that uh, owe basically uh, their assent to the American intervention in Afghanistan. Uh, mostly uh, their reign has been financed by the American intervention, and uh, now they can't uh, agree with each other. Uh, the president cannot come up with an agreeable list of all the Afghans to go negotiate with the Taliban. And as much as this situation lasts, there is a risk for the United States to see the Afghan National Army disintegrate. And that's the investment that cannot be put at risk. Okay. In oh, a yeah. statement, uh, the Secretary of State says these people are now acting as a direct threat to the United States' interest by not agreeing with each other. Okay, Tarek, tell me this. Um, the Doha deal, the U.S.-led peace deal, uh, was calling for intra-Afghan peace talks, which was supposed to begin 10 days after. And that 10-day period was supposed to be on March the 10th. We've passed that by almost two weeks. Um, Ashraf Ghani and Abdullah Abdullah still haven't agreed as to which side will represent the non-Taliban delegation. How much blame can be, be put on the Afghan side? All the blame can be put on Kabul for the leaders not being able to agree on a common list. In fact, the word is President Ghani has the control of the list and the list that he has communicated here and there informally has not been even shared with the others. So this situation is dangerous. Uh, this is not only one billion in aid cut, it's more than that. It's a threat to cut another billion next year. It's a threat to not help Afghanistan with donor Tariq Farhadi. Tariq, I, I do apologize. Uh, we do have to cut you there. I do apologize. Sometimes this happens in news. We're going to have to go straight to it. Thank you very much.